As we move into 2015, WJCL continues to take a look back at the past year and the biggest stories to hit the coastal empire in low country. As Chelsea McDonald reports, two major fires seriously impacted business in Jessup and Hazelhurst. Two communities are on the road to recovery after massive fires destroyed what neighbors consider their heartbeat. It was amazing to watch those guys work. It, it, they're terrific. I can't say enough about the job that they were doing. In Jessup, city leaders think an August fire started in an air conditioned unit on the roof of the Fairhaven Market. Six businesses and a church gone. We hope to, to build something better and nicer and new air conditioning units and um, and, and then just get this back as soon as we can. The community came together to support and donate to one another. One business owner gave 5% of her sales to the fire fund. And earlier this month, we showed you Jessa business owners are getting back on their feet. We saw that type of camaraderie over in Hazelhurst too. We uh, went ahead and started the second alarm, the third alarm, started getting some counties around us to come in. Uh, to, to help us out. When more than 50 crews arrived on scene, they knew more than the Thompson Lumberyard warehouse was at stake. We have so far saved the sawmill part of it, and that's what the owners were really, you know, really worried about was the sawmill part. We've saved that. The fire burned millions of dollars of dry timber. The crews contained the fire to primarily the 200,000 square foot warehouse. In hours, they lost a building. In just two days, they were back up and running nearly 100%. We got a substantial amount of water. You have to have like nine foot of water or more before you can dip. We found 25 feet. Fortunately, no employees were hurt, and their jobs didn't go up in smoke with the 100 foot flames. The heartbeat grows stronger each day as both communities continue to rebuild. Chelsea McDonald, WJCL News, working for you.